Quick story. 20 years ago, I played for this pro basketball team in Argentina. I was cut before my second season started. I asked my father, what should I do now? I was told by my father to get a real career, and I was getting old. I was 24 years old, and I completely gave up on my dream. Quitting basketball was the worst decision of my life. I never reached my full potential as a basketball player, and I suppressed this pain for 20 years. I started my company All Dreams for two reasons. One, I have no video of my sports journey from college or Argentina, and I wanted to help athletes capture their sports journey so it wouldn't get lost like mine. And two, I wanted to help athletes from around the world get exposure and financial support to reach their full potential. On January 18, 2024, I turned 44 years old, and I wanted to play basketball again. So I started Project 45, and my mission is to get signed by the Casarios next season, which is the pro basketball team here in Cartagena, Colombia, which is the city that I live. I started documenting my journey of building my company and attempting to play pro basketball again. On day two, we hit the court around 10.30. And I did film on the GoPro uh, going to the court. But I actually lost that footage. So I wanted to start off with just some half court dribbling drills just to warm up a little bit. Um, again, have not really worked on basketball in a lot of years. So I'm just getting my body back stronger and um, working on little things little by little. Uh, you have to think, I am a 44-year-old man, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. So what we do is we lift weights before we uh, go to the court to shoot, and um, then we, you know, then we start. So right here, I'm just shooting some free throws, trying to shoot out. The, the weights, air ball. <laughs> Another air ball. I'm trying to shoot it out, you know. I'm, I'm really, really tight right now. So everything is either. Uh, really short is really short like an air ball or it's hitting the front of the rim um, just trying to shoot that the trying to shoot you know trying to loosen my muscles up and, and, and shoot it out so that's what's going on for the first few minutes of the workout So once we get through that, we go ahead and um, start the mid-range shots. So this is only day two. So the goal is to make five mid-range uh, at each location. And as you can see, My shot is all over the place right now. See, that's a good shot right there. I can feel some of those shots where they come back. And um, that's another shot. That's a good shot. So that right there, if I can continue those, you know, those type, those type of shots, then my, you know, then my shooting becomes Comes a little bit back to normal. So we completed completed the, the the corner shots, the first corner shots, and now we move on to the the wing mid range shots. Now, right there, I can see that my uh, my hand turned. 
trying to catch a rhythm my hand turned on that one so i made two but my hand turned so those aren't actually good shots my hand turned again so those aren't good shots hand turned again even though i made them those are not good shots hand turn um that's a better shot that's a better shot see that release right there that was a good release that's how it's supposed to look another good release Another good release. That's three in a row right there. Four in a row right there. So, ah, short. So, short, two in a row. And I was pretty frustrated right there. Ah, see, so I missed four in a row and finished out. Not happy with that. Um, that performance right there okay so that's a good shot right there another good shot so i'm seeing progress just this early on day two right but it is so inconsistent right now that's a really really good shot right there for me that's a good shot even though i missed that's a good shot right there Dribble in between the legs, up. So later on in, in these workouts, we'll probably start to put in some dribbling workouts uh, off the dribble stuff. Right now, just catch and shoot. And that's five over there. So day two, going a little bit better than day one. Um, see about this last leg over here. So. It's a decent shot right there. Starting to feel a little bit of a rhythm and get it back. Still a little bit all over the place though. You know, it's not consistent. That's a good one. I think the only way you improve as a shooter is to continue to do it but you also have to know what's you know when you're shooting the same shot and when your mechanics are are good enough to get your shot off in the game so i go to the free throw line i make the first free throw kind of like in a, a rhythm now you know my muscles uh so i was short but my muscles are um loose now free throw so right there um and mind you it's like 90 degree degrees out here so it's really really hot and um we go right into the three-point shooting off like right there you can see the the movement on the hands is just just not good this is not good at all i haven't shot in a while so i'm trying to catch that rhythm and i'm trying to get my mechanics right first off like that's the first thing for me is try to get the mechanics right first off even though that went in is just not a good shot my hand is up. That's a better shot right there. You can see 
the flick of the wrist. <sighs> Better. So that's two. See when the wrist is flicking the fl flicking out, or you can see when it's you know flicking to the inside, and you can see where those shots go, and that's why we're we're filming all of these these workouts. That's another one that's the ri ri my wrist is flicking in. That's why we're filming all of these these workouts because that's a better shot, still not perfect. Um, all over the place right there. So we have a guest, Yasmith came to the gym, I mean, came to the court today to uh, to watch the workout. It's one of my boys, Total Be In. Couple short. More short. Okay, there we go. So you can see that you know, like like I said, is is this is gonna take it's gonna take time in order to get this you know to to get everything to get everything straight where it's you know it's a a, a solid shot. This is day two. see on, on on the middle was a was a real struggle and I'm usually a really really good sh shooter on the top of the, from the top of the key and the psychology when you're you know when you when you are having a rough moment in these in these shooting drills is like you still have to move on to the next one Yeah, my shoulder is is not feeling good right now, and but I still have to mentally get through the full, you know, the full makes or whatever. And right now, I'm just shooting very, very awful, as you can see. Okay, that was a good shot right there. You know, let's see if we can draw two in a row. So that's how the shot is supposed to look. So. You know, we move to we move to the to the corner. Try to close it out. That's a good shot right there. So with that, you know, it's just like I said, just you know, continuing to uh, to improve. Um, and I'm pretty frustrated with my performance. Um, but it's only day two. It's only day two. So it takes work to be a, a great, a great shooter. It takes work to do anything. So this is, you know, day two. If you are a person in the world that has a dream, we are building the All Dreams platform dedicated for you to capture your journey, get exposure, and earn money to go after your dream. Join our waiting list. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and continue to follow this journey.